Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope your day is going well. Um, so we've all used these universal sockets. This is a 3 8 drive. These are all, all three are 3 8 drive. Um, problem with them is if you're using them somewhere you can't get to, you can't, you know, you go to get it in there and it flops and you can't get it in. You know what that's like, a floppy one. So you don't want that. So there's various things you can do. This one I put a, can you guys see that, an O-ring around there? And it just kind of maintains it wherever you put it. It doesn't really center it, but it maintains it. So that's that's all right too. That works. Been using this one forever. That's just yellow electrical tape, and it just does the same thing. It basically holds it centered. So this one will hold it wherever you want it, and this one will hold it centered. But it still bends and still works as a universal. So those all work great. But today I found these. Ta-da! The Titan Universal Joint Set, Autoflex, spring-loaded, flexes back to neutral position. Three-piece set, part number 85505. Um, what else? Anything tell you? Made in Taiwan. That's not bad. Chrome vanadium steel, mirror polish finish, non-slip ribbed base. Ooh, ribbed for my pleasure. Um, yep, that's about it. So let's see how show you before I even unwrap them. Check that out. It's done via, I'll take them apart and show you guys. Uh, wire snips. I see if I can do this. I don't know where my flush cutters are, but according to this, all I have to do is cut that. Well, I cut that. Alright, that's that one off. That's that one off. Uh, let's see. Come on. Alright, hold on. Stay here. I'm going to go remove All this. Right. I'm back. Of course, as soon as I turned the camera off, I was going to go walk stick this in the vise and use something to pry between. Didn't get two steps away and I was able to pull it off. Um, just the way it is, you know. As soon as soon If I was on camera, I, I would have fooled with this for half an hour, but as soon as you go off camera, everything goes smooth. So anyway, there we go. So yeah, it's uh Okay, um, so what I was going to do, when I before I started the video, I wanted to see how these worked myself. Um, I could see inside these ears it's got, let's see if I can get this set up so you guys can see it. Can, let's see if you guys can see, there you go. See, inside there, there's a slot. So on the outside here, right along there, there's a slot or a groove on both sides. And there's a spring in there with a little barb that catches in there. And so when you push that way, it goes against the spring. There's a, a little spring on each side and I imagine it's the same down there. It is. I can see the the groove. You guys, yeah, I wish you guys could see this, but anyway, I did take it apart and because I was going to show you how it works, but it really was no fun getting back together. So, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. So, yeah, this is the 3 8 and they're not overly springy. It's it's just the right amount. I don't think I'd have bought them because I don't need any more universals, frankly. But I just thought this was awesome. They look kind of cool, too. They got a little, I don't know, it looks like a reddish-orange anodized center link. Looks pretty cool. Nice, and they have this knurled finished, as they say, ribbed. So, so you know, you could use it by hand, need be, whatever you need it to do. Um, what the heck? Let's go for it and take it apart so I can show you guys. If I can't get it back together, oh boy, I'm gonna be mad at you. These guys, these things weren't cheap actually. I got them on sale for twenty nine something, twenty nine ninety five, whatever, thirty bucks we'll say. And I thought, well, that's not a bad price. I think it's a bit more than I want to spend, being as I don't need them. But okay, so there, I took the center screw out. It's an Allen key. Let's see right through there. Can't see anything in the way, but as soon as I take this out, hopefully I can get it out without... Oh, I did it this time. Okay, this won't be so bad. So see the springs in there? 
and they've got a little arm that sticks up that rides in, there we go see that that rides in that groove and when you push it either way it goes against the force of the spring so let's see if I can get this back together on camera really just got to get one side started okay that's one Holy moly, I think I got it. Can't have gone that easy. Certainly didn't go that easy the first time. And I'm not sure it's going to go that easy this time. I think I got this together wrong. Okay, let's give this another try. Let's try see if I can take it apart now. It seems to be stuck. All right, I'm not going to screw with this on camera. I broke my new toys because of you guys. I'll fix this up off camera. But anyway, that's how they work. Pretty cool, eh? I wish I could take it apart. But I'll have to go off camera and find something to poke through there and push the spring. Wait, wait. There we go. So yeah, here's the springs anyway. You guys want to see it? There's two of them, one on each side that sit in a little recessed. I'm a terrible cameraman, I tell you. You know, it has a little recessed hole there that they sit in. And yeah, they're just a real pain in the butt to get back together because everything has to fit just so. There's tiny little holes that these got to go in. Holy moly, that went in first try. Okay, let's try this again then. See how everything there went so well. That one in. No. Okay. Anyway, that's it. You guys got any questions or comments? Leave them down below. There's the package with the part number on it. You see that? There you go. I'll put a link to the Amazon link. They're $50 on Amazon.ca, so probably 30, 30 bucks American. So I think they're worth it. I think they're pretty cool. And I've never had any problem with Titan products. Anything I bought of theirs, I've never broken anything. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Take it easy and have a great day.